It's your mother. <laughs> Surprise! I know you're probably. That's a really beautiful mirror you got there. Um, you don't mind if I just make myself at home? <laughs> well, you know, it is technically my second home since I still pay for your health insurance and your phone bill. So, in a way, I'm also paying for your rent here. So it's also my home, but also because I birthed you from my womb. So your home is always my home. <laughs> Gosh, I just missed you so much. Oh, well, you know, you never visit. You never visit. <sighs> Sorry, I just, it really upsets me when you don't visit your mother. But I took it into my own hands. And I'm visiting you today. I saw the picture that you posted on on your Instagram. Your hair was a mess. I mean, I do, I'm not even sure that you brushed it. Did you brush your hair today? You can tell your mother. Well, I'll brush it for you. It's fine. That's what I'm here for. I am here for you forever and always because I just love you so gosh darn much. <laughs> Well, I figured we would do a little bit of a pamper sort of night. I brought all kinds of things. I have this Starbucks bag here. I know you thought that that was probably your Uber Eats or your, your DoorDash or whichever since you don't cook ever since you left my house. You don't eat right. I know you haven't been eating correctly. So that's why I brought some goodies in my Starbucks bag. They have their holiday collection out. So, that's why I kept it back. But let me, let me just grab. Just to set that down there. Um, so, I brought you some things that I thought that you would like. First of all, like I mentioned, I noticed you are not eating. So, I brought you some leftover shepherd's pie that I baked yesterday. It was so Ask your father, he will tell you the truth. It was delicious, one of my best. If you had showed up for dinner yesterday, I know you're just so gosh darn busy. If you had showed up, I would have given it to you fresh, but if not, I do have the instructions on how to read for you. I put it on my Facebook as my status. It is my current status on Facebook, so you just gotta open up the app and you'll see it. What do you mean you... Quit googling Mowgli once you want installed Facebook. Why would you do that? Well, you know, I'm on there. Your father's on there. Let me grab, grab a brush here. Father's on there. Your aunt and your uncle are on there. Both your grandparents, your nana and your pop up, and your grand nanny and grandpappy are both on Facebook, and they love to see what you're up to and how you're doing. So tell me, why would you uninstall Facebook? Oh, goodness, whatever. I don't want to hear your. Just figure out a way to send it to you some other way. Just let me go over what I brought you. Okay, so the shepherd's pie. And then I also went to Trader Joe's um, a few days ago. And I saw these and it reminded me. There are these fruit bars. Here, here, take one. There are these fruit bars. And it reminded me of when you were little. roll them up and you were just so cute when you would eat them you'd unroll the whole thing and you'd skip rope with it and then you'd still eat it oh please that's how you it's good for your immune system just some dirt it's just some dirt but it just this reminded me of that when you were young how you used to do that oh my gosh ah oh, memories well, I brought 
those for you because they reminded me of you but then also um so the neighbor kid and I, I have a story give me a second the neighbor kid you know he's younger he's like Outside playing on his phone, and I just thought, What is going on? He's outside on his phone, just in, just so engrossed in his phone. And I was like, Well, hey there, little buddy. Do you need like a, like a, like a scooter? Or do you want to have some bocce ball if you'd like to learn how to play? I just figured he's outside. What is he doing on his phone? And he tells me all about this Pokemon Go app. So he's really into this Pokemon Go. And I remembered, I remembered that you were so into Pokemans when you were younger. You had just about every card. It was the cutest. You would put them in um, that little binder of yours. Oh gosh, where did we put that? I think we must have thrown it away or sold it at a garage sale or something like that. You had so many shiny ones. Anyway, I figured... I should get, you know who I, who I should get a Pokemans thing is you. So I found this, um, one of the artists at that art fair that I go to quite regularly. The art fair. They sell these pins. And I asked her, she had a white variety, and here I'm going to get this to you. Pokemans. And she had, she said she had a few and she pointed them out. I told her all about you and just how wonderful you are and just smart and beautiful and about, you know, what you're doing, how you just looked out. And she said that that Bulbasaur, what I practiced Bulbasaur, would be good for you. So, I hope you like it. Oh, you don't play the Pokemon Go? Well, maybe you can now. I, well, I can let Billy, the, the neighbor cat, I can let Billy know and he can probably show you. He can probably show you how to play. What do you think about that? Okay, well, let me know. Um, also, the other thing that I wanted to mention that I brought had issues with bowel movements. I know, I know, I know. I, you hate to talk about that. I, I'm your mother. I birthed you. You've always had issues with your bowel movements. And especially now that you're not eating healthily, I know you're probably eating so much junk food. So much junk food. So I brought you Listen to me, listen to me. The older you get, you gotta start using these things. You can't overdo it, but it's unfortunate. You know, we're not, you're not young anymore. You're not young anymore. Well, you're young, you're very young. I'm still young, but you're young, you're not young anymore. And you gotta face it, sometimes you gotta use the stool softener, okay? I know it makes you so uncomfortable for no reason. I'm your mother. But, you know, here brought this for you. Use it at your own discretion. You can't use it all the time. You gotta make sure that you eat your fruits and vegetables. But if you're having a difficult moment, you know, it can get backed up. And you could go to your father. Had, remember when he had to go to the hospital? He had to go to the emergency room because he was so backed up. I don't want that to happen to you, sweetheart. Our insurance can't handle it. No, our health insurance can't handle that. No. Uh-uh. Not on the plan that I have. Uh-uh. Anyway, now that that's over with, we can move on. I, I brought something else, but you're in a mood. You are just in a mood. So I'll wait until later. Okay. So, I brought some really fun things. I thought, you know what? Let's do a bit 
bit of a scalp massage. Are you feeling tense, sweetie? Feeling tense? Yeah, I can feel it in your neck here. Very tense. You know what? I have been taking classes at the local YMCA uh, chiropractor class. Yes, I know exactly how to fix you, okay? I just did. I am your mother. I know what's good for you. Let me give it a try, okay? All right, ready? I know exactly how to do this. Three, two, deep breath. One. There you go. And don't you feel so much better? Okay, other side. Ready? Deep breath. Take a deep breath. Three, two, one. There you go. You. Okay, well, that wasn't the best sound. No, but you know, you must feel so nice. Oh yeah, that feels so much better. Well, see, aren't you glad that you trusted your mother on that one? <laughs> oh, goodness. You are stressed out. You need to slow down. At least slow down enough to brush your hair. But, you know, I, I will all be, always be there to brush your hair for you. Um, let's get your hair wet and put some sudsy. I can do a scalp massage for you. Although, before we do, I should check your hair for lice. Well, I used to do this all the time when you were younger. Because you never know when you get lice, okay? You never know. You never know. Okay. I'm just gonna So far, so good. But, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. she say? Well, I don't like that. What was her tone? I don't know. She doesn't sound like a good friend. Well, something like that. She's obviously not a girl's girl. And I learned that from Jimmy Fallon. That's a very bad word to say about girls, but in a nice way. Because we don't say curse words. I would advise you don't hang out with her again. Just no. I don't like that. Well, I'm sorry that your trip to the mall didn't go well because of that girl. Oh, you, you at least found something nice? Did you buy it? No. Well, what was it, sweetheart? I might be able to get something for you. 
What's that? Shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's what? Oh, I don't know. I've heard that being before. I don't know about that, sweetheart. Well, what, what, how much are they? How much are they? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. And let me see. No, 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 no. Those, I've seen those. What are those? Um, Dr. Dr. Birkin stockers? No, no, no. I've seen those at Walmart for $15. The, and, and they look exactly the same. $15 at Walmart. Well, if you're sweet and you stop giving such an attitude, maybe I'll get you those. All right, all right, all right. Tarje has one just like that as well. think about it. Well, you just... I'm banned from Tarjay at the moment from your father. Well, you know how I get there. I spent $300 the last time I went in. They had their new Christmas decorations. I had to get at least... Well, I, I didn't have to, but I did end up with at least 10 new ornaments. They're so cute. I'll show you during Christmas Day. You'll see him. But you have to come to our house for Christmas to see him. Alright, let's um let's put your hair. Alright. Let's brush this out. And I'll put in the hair set. Shush. Can you just let me pretend? You never pretended. Okay, even when you were younger, you would never pretend for me. Can you just pretend for once? And tell me what you want me to let Santa know what you want for Christmas. Feels nice, doesn't it? Okay, well, we got, we went over that Jim Martins, or wait, what is it? The Birkenstockers. All right, whichever. I'll let Santa know. Mm -mm. Goodness. You never, you always, I remember when you were a kid, we had all those presents under the tree. And you knew it was us the whole time. You knew it was us because so smart. You really are just so incredibly smart. I don't know. You definitely don't get it from me and you don't get it from your father because Lord knows we are not smart. But you are a genius. And you're just so perfect. You're just like a perfect little angel delivered to us from the heavens, my goodness. How did we ever end up with such a perfect child? I know, sorry, sorry. I just, menopause makes me all emotional. But we 
We love you very much. We love you so very much. Yes, we do. an offer that I extend to you. Should. You are just all over the place. You're moving left and right. I she can't keep your next street. What is wrong? Just go.
thank you for asking how I've been doing. You know, it took you how long? 20 minutes or so to ask how I'm doing? You know, I, I swear you don't care about your mother. I do so much for you. But thank you for asking. I'm actually doing very well. I told you about the uh, YMCA class I've been going to. The YMCA is so expensive. I wasn't even planning on going to that class. But when I saw the bill, I was like, well, I better, I better get all my money's worth out of this. And I think that I have so far. I like to think that I some other classes I've been thinking about taking. There's one on data entry. Yeah. And there's one on taekwondo. And there's a cooking class, although I would be an expert, let's be honest. He'd end up showing up and showing I did not become a teacher. Is your scalp feeling a little bit better, sweetheart? Thing. I don't want to overdo it with this. You know, because there's a battery and I don't know what battery it comes with. And once the batteries run out, then I, it ends up in the drawer and I don't know ever what to do with it. So, next we have ice globes. Ice globes, ice globes. I love these things. Okay. So, again, hold still, would you? Gosh. <clears throat> So, these things are so fun. Let's get that here. I was thinking that I could get you some new underwear as a stocking stuffer. What are we thinking about? Honey, I used to buy you underwear when you were 
were so young. I put you underwear up until you could no longer pay for your, you know, up until you could pay for yourself. You know. And you're over here acting like it's a big deal. Just because you're a little bit older, you live on your own, I can still buy you underwear. Anyway. As I was saying, I was gonna go up to um, Victoria's Secret and I was gonna get some more undies for you and I was just curious what style you prefer. Or something like 5 for 25, 5 for 30, it's always going up. But um, I also got a coupon in the mail, so I want to use that coupon. And I want to use it on you, because I love you. I love you so much, and all the coupons in the world are meant for you. Unless it's Harry and David, then it's meant for me, because I love those little baskets. Every time I get a basket for someone, I gotta get a basket for myself. It's just, it's the mom rules. <laughs> Goodness. So if you ever need an idea of what to get me for Mother's Day, here you Dave up. <sighs> Don't you just miss the yes. always a place for you. And if you ever just want to get some lunch, talk about your day, I'm always here for you. Did you hear that? Um, Starbucks is the pumpkin space pack. I know you always liked the pumpkin space. Oh, you already said that. Oh, okay. yet. Alright, well that's yet in processes. Let me get that um, shepherd's pie recipe for you. Okay. Just gotta pull up the Facebook. Well, there's just so many different apps. I know Facebook is blue. was on. Okay. Oh, there it is. If you ever consider coming back to Facebook, I would welcome you with open arms. And so would your Aunt May, because your Aunt May has been asking about you. She messaged me, she messaged me the other day on um, the Facebook Messenger. Well, and I can tell it because I'm with you right now, but she is very curious. And if you just put some statuses up every now and again, it would just make her very happy. And your grandparents do. It would make them very happy. Since you don't visit them either. You could at least send them a card. Shoot them a text. Okay. It is 
just the cutest mm. oh, I have to read a comment <gasps> okay I gotta read a comment oh my goodness oh my gosh I'm trying to get a better look oh goodness would you like to see the puppy? Here, I'll, um... Look at your cousin Henry's puppy. You should visit your cousin Henry. You should visit. Yeah. I think he's, um... Oh gosh, I can't remember how old he is now. But my goodness, how precious. Shepherd's pie. The shepherd's pie. Um, I just need to look through it. Okay. Where was that? Well, I have to go through the feed. I know I don't know how to get to my, um, no, I don't know how to get to my, to my profile. What do you mean, my profile? No, no, no. I have to, um, no, it's on. Now give me a moment. Give me a moment. Stop rushing me. You're always rushing me. I, I, it's here somewhere. Um. Here. Okay. Um. Right. Well, I made it to. I clicked on my name, like you said. And. Okay, I can see me and your father. That's that's my profile picture. That's my profile picture of me and your father. Okay. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I, I re retweeted. I retweeted, um, or no, um, I redid. Re well, your friend. That, that's a picture of your friend's food from the other night. It looked so good. I had to share it on, onto my wall. Yeah. Your friend Sam from high school. Oh my god. Your friend Sam and I, we talk all the time. Oh yeah, we're good friends on Facebook. You haven't talked to your friend Sam in how long? Well, that's sad to hear because I really liked them. They were really sweet. Saying that there's no possibility that you and Sam they're going to school to be a doctor. Okay, they're going to school to be a doctor. So you couldn't even like reconsider. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to. I'm just. I want what's best for you. I just want what's best for you. Well, if you ever change your mind. Sir, friends with your friend Sam than you are apparently. I am being gentle. Oh my gosh, you've always been, you've always had a very sensitive scalp. I am not yanking in any way. And you're always crying about it.
mother is there and I just really want to see you, baby. So, will you promise me you'll start dating? Will you promise me you'll at least try to start dating? You are such a catch. I mean, who couldn't love you? You are so perfect and smart and gorgeous. I mean, I'm sure everyone has a crush on you. Everyone. I mean, that boy at the, at the Walgreens was giving you eyes. I know you thought that he was just being nice, but I'm pretty sure. Right, well, whatever you're into, boy or girl, okay, they're into you. They're all, all of them, they're always shooting you looks and glances. It's really cute. Is there something wrong with your neck? Do you have a neck injury? Did you injure your neck recently? It's because you're overweight. Yourself, isn't it? I think it's because you're overworking yourself. That must be it. Oh, my goodness. You are just losing hair. I couldn't even understand why. Probably you're probably your diet. You need to eat more. You're gonna keep losing hair. me on the Facebook Messenger or regular text message or call, pick up the phone and call.